Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here and welcome back to another season and another part of our Football Manager 2019 save here with Braga. In this part, we'll take on Pachas Ferreira in the first game of the season, which I'm hoping for a very good result. We'll go through all the transfers that's happened in the pre-season. It's been an okay pre-season, very... Very much everything was done early. It's been more about getting players out because we have such a good youth system and good youth players that it's been more for me about focusing about bringing the youth players through and making sure that they get games. I've not really been too focused on signing players. We have got our record transfer in. Um, I'm probably going to be scr <laughs> I'm going to be scrutinised for it. I know already. I'm going to be scrutinised for it for what I spent on the player that I got. Uh, but I really think that he'll bring goals to the team up front and I feel like that was a major place where we needed to change um, and the majority is just free transfers which is kind of what we're we're good at here in Braga in our pursuit here in season five for top three again and Champions League again and that's kind of the the idea for this season let's get Champions League football again and just have an all-round good season uh, so let's first of all let's go through the transfers because that's the fun part of this save uh, and let's see what business we've done and you guys can pick me apart so, first of all, transfers out, and the only real transfer out of note is the 5 million transfer of a Senga Curry to RB Leipzig. Um, and he's literally gone just because of, in terms of the pecking order. Uh, we have a lot of very good midfielders, and Novius and Febas was never going to go. And with Ramirez, uh, De Villa, uh, Armand, and uh, Maroski coming back, there was just so many central midfielders that I was kind of like, it's probably that time. It's probably that time that he moves on. He's had a good time here. He's been a solid player for us. I've really enjoyed using him. Fantastic pickup as a free transfer in your first season. Really good player. Um, I don't know if he is on the update, actually. I don't think he'll probably be a free transfer on the update because he'll already be at a team. But he's been really good for us. But there are players now that need to step up and get more football. And unfortunately, he was the one out of the... I, my choice was between the three, Novius, Febas and Gakuri. And Novius was never going to go. And Febas had a very good season last year. So unfortunately for Gakuri, he's gone. And then the only real other out of note was Donis. We tried to sell him. We couldn't get a sale for him. So he's gone out there on uh, on loan. And he's at Pasha's Ferreira, which is a bit frustrating. But let's see how he does there. And hopefully we'll get a sale for him after this season. There's a few players I've still got up on the list. But that's all at the moment that has gone out, really, of note. So, players, and if you didn't already know, we signed Igor. I mean, he's a very good youngster, 18-year-old. We're still pumping through the regens. Unfortunately, he's another midfielder. Uh, we're very good at picking up midfielders in the regen situation. He's going to be in the youth team for this season. He's definitely not going to have a place in the first team. But I'm looking for him to uh, to be good, even if he's just a player that we look to sell on eventually. But I think he'll be a very good player here. Or, financially, we'll gain from selling him. And then as you guys already know, Daniel came in, the man who scored the fifth goal against us for Benfica last season. He's now our player, crossing 16, dribbling 16, first touch 16. He's very good on the ball, as you can imagine. He's quick. He's a very good player. I'm looking forward to using him as our right midfielder winger. He's probably going to be the start of this season. Uh, I'm toying with the sale of Fabio Martins. It's... It'll be painful to let him go because I really like Fabio Martins, but he didn't have a great season last season, and I think maybe it's his time to go. We then brought in Jacob Alonso, I, or Jacobo Alonso. I just couldn't, I couldn't not go in for him. Um, they wanted next to nothing for him. What did we pay for him now? I think we paid absolutely on a free. So he's on a free. We got him on a free. He looks like a very good goalkeeper. Um, he's not going to get game time this season. I'm looking to loan him out. Gustavo Guedes will be the backup goalkeeper for Osman. Uh, but yeah, why not bring him in for a free at 19 year old? He looks like he could potentially be something from Atletico. And as you guys saw, we did this one live. Jay De Silva is in, and I'm very happy that we got him in as a left back. We really needed a left back. We've needed left backs for a long time, and he's going to come into the club and be perfect for us. He's a very good player. On a free transfer, already valued at 15.5 million. There's a lot of great young players on transfers. We went in for Genduzi, couldn't get him. Uh, we got him for a few players. We actually recently went in for Jesse Lingard, who we probably would have been able to sign, actually. But at this moment in time, uh, wage-wise, we couldn't afford him. And I would have broken the bank for him. It's Jesse Lingard, for God's sakes. But no, unfortunately, we're not going to get him. And it looks like he could go to Sporting, which is, uh, which is not great news for us. Uh, another big player we may miss out on. And guys, we also brought in Shay Ojo. So this is the first one you won't have seen. He's on a free transfer. I really rate him. I like him, to be honest with you. Um, and I wanted somebody else on the left-hand side, didn't I? I wanted a left-sided player. 
uh, to play in that left side position. And that is what Old Joe's going to be doing. His crossing is good, but it's more about his dribbling for me. His finishing is okay as well, to be fair, for a winger. Uh, he's nice and quick. He's got good flair. I'm excited to see what he can do in the team. I think he's going to be a real good addition to the squad. Uh, and on a free transfer, you cannot complain. So, guys, the man that we broke the bank on. Now, I like this guy from his time at Malaga, and that's probably what swayed me towards him. For me, he's our best striker. He is our best striker, and his record shows that he's our best striker. And we did pay, I think we paid 8.25 million for him, which I don't think is a ridiculous fee. His record's pretty decent, but his record's pretty decent in the Spanish second division. Um, for Deportivo, he had a really good season for them. I think it's that season uh, that he's, he's got like 17 goals, I think, in a season. No, 19 goals. This season here, one season at Deportivo that really mattered. Uh, 33 appearances and 19 goals. He had a crazy season there. Now, he went to Sevilla, and I think because he didn't really play, you know, he didn't really play in either of the seasons is probably why his goal drought came. So this is the Diego Rolon we're signing. He's he's like in the prime of his career. He's 29 year old. And I don't really like to discriminate on age on this game. I know most people are like, yeah, just buy the youth, just buy the youth. I want to kind of be a bit different in terms of the saves and in terms of the players we go for. I've always kind of been that way and we've done it again. Diego Rolon would be a very good signing, I think, for Braga in real life. Um, he's very good, he's more than capable, he should come in and get us goals, which is exactly what we need. And that's why we spent the money on him. You guys can butch me in the comments for spending this amount of money on a 29-year-old. Um, when we probably could have got some some more youngsters. But I think between with us playing two up front, Suarez being our rotation striker, uh, and Quintero probably will play deep line forward for quite a few games as well. Um, I like the rotation of having Jovic, Roland, and Abraham. I think that's three solid, good strikers up top there that can cause damage. And I'm really hoping that he has a good season. Proves me right... And then all you guys can be quiet, okay? So, guys, that was pretty much it for the transfers. A few loans went out. If you didn't notice, um, and I don't think it shows up in this season, we did actually manage to loan back. Uh, where's the lad for Barcelona? Mark, uh, we loaned him back in, so he's going to be our back, uh, backup left back alongside De Silva. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Centre-back-wise, we haven't signed anyone. We're just going to use the youth. We're going to use the youth a lot again in most seasons now. Free transfers is clearly where it's at for us. Um, once I get good finances and a good budget, I am looking to spend money. I'm excited to spend money. And that's why we signed Diego Roland, to be honest with you. I wanted to spend a bit of money on a player that was out of favour at Sevilla that could do a job for us here. So hopefully he does do a good job. I'll take you through the uh, the fixtures, the pre-season. There's not really much of note. We won 6-0, Armand getting two, Loki Jovic getting two. And, well, unluckily for them, two own goals. We then beat Real San Sebastián, who we know is Real. So obviously your dad, Luis Suarez, getting a goal late on in that game. But a, a good result, really. That was the toughest side we played in the friendlies. In one seven two against our Braga B side, uh, Tammy Abraham with four goals. Armand again with the goals. Cardoso, Cardoso's been heavily wanted. A lot of people have come in and bid for him. Benfica, Sporting, I'm managing to hold off at the minute, and he seems pretty happy. I've promised him Champions League football, um, which I really do hope we can manage to get now. And then we won six one. Linda getting himself a goal. Novius, Horta, Marquez, and Armand. So we are going to pick the squad. We're going to do it live as well because I think it's. Um, it's going to be quite difficult to choose the squad. We are at home, which makes it nice, but I really want to hit the ground running because Pasha's Ferreira, as we know, have a very good team. So hopefully we can hit the ground running and get a good result here. Right, guys, so let's pick the team from scratch. So obviously Osman is going to be the goalkeeper. Um, We're going to keep Pedro as the right back. He really ended the season strong. Cardoso and Santos. It's got to be Cardoso and Santos, hasn't it? They're the two main men, hopefully having great seasons this season for us. With Cotezi now probably taking, not a backseat, because there's so many games to be played. He's still going to get plenty of uh, plenty of games. But Guides is a player who is coming in now to the team and Quintas. They're two centre-backs that aren't going to get tons and tons of game time, but they will start to pick up game time. Quintas again looking like a pretty decent defender. I'm not too happy with his heading, but let's be honest, we're not very good with heading at all. But I really like the fact that he's got awesome positioning. 
and he'll pretty much do anything for the team with that teamwork. So he's definitely something I want to get involved. And also, Jao Guidez is a player at 19 who I want to start moving into the team a little bit more. Again, good positioning teamwork. They're very hard working for their team, and that's what I like about them. And they're not slow. So, um, yeah, I want to start working them into the team, or else I'm probably going to have to sell one of them because they're starting to get a bit frustrated. So, left back is going to be D Silva. And what do we do as our right winger? Uh, at the moment, it looks like Marquez is going to go out on loan, which is a little bit upsetting, but kind of the way it's going to go. So, Daniel's going to be the right winger. And centre mid's going to be an issue. Not. Novius and uh, Febas, of course, as my centre midfielders. We're going full strength. This is kind of what I vision our strongest team is and uh, I think we're building a pretty good team here on the left will be Ricardo Horta of course the man of the moment last year those goals against Porto and just in general his goals on that late run were absolutely so uh, superb so yeah Fabio Martins 29 I don't think he really features that much in this squad anymore, and that's a real shame. I'm, I'm got, probably going to keep him around for the first part of the season, but then we may sell him. Uh, Medeiros we're trying to get rid of at the minute. Um, rotation player, but now we've got the youngsters to play as rotation players, so we don't really need him as much. And then up front, today, we will play Luka Jovic and Tammy Abraham. That's going to be our up front too. Let's swap them around, maybe? Yeah, and Luka Jovic as the... Yeah, we'll keep him as the deep line forward. So that is going to be us for today. Uh, Roland, obviously, is going to be on the bench. Luis Suarez is wanted, but it's loan. And I'd, that doesn't really make sense for us. Linda there, Quintero, Osquiz, De Silva. Let's get Catezzi on the bench. And do we do Quintas as well? We'll do Quintas as well, because he can potentially play there. Uh, Shea Ojo is struggling with fitness. We probably will use him in the coming games, but we'll give him a break for this one. So this is the squad we're going to go with. Let's see how it gets on today in today's game. Right, so we're all set, ready to go. We're going to keep extended for now. I've got an only commentary. I need to change that now. I ended up doing a Braga B match, which was really frustrating, so we ended up on that. But let's see how we get on with the extended. See how we get on as a team today. This would be a really good sign of intent if we win this game, to be honest with you. This would be a really good start to the season for us. Uh, oh, wow, was uh, Sporting are losing already. Febas with the corner. Can we get anything in here? And it goes to absolutely nobody. I think Sporting brought it straight back as well. Go on, Santos, get to that. I want to be strong defensively again. We had a good strong back line towards the end of the last season. Didn't concede too many. Ricardo Horta, hopefully he has a good season again. Oh, Abraham here. Mafias as well, our, our old keeper. He's actually the keeper in our uh, overall best 11 as well. He's the starting goalkeeper. Hopefully this team can get the job done. This is our strongest squad, let's remember. Apaches Ferreira did beat us towards the end of last season. Very close game. Uh, but they did manage to get the win as they're through here. Good save by Osman. So very, very neck and neck start. Patrick Roberts will deliver the corner. Cardoso heads it away. Thank you, Cardoso. Luka Jovic there with a dreadful ball. And that's kind of why we've been playing Quintero in that position, because he really does spread the balls very well. That sounds awful, but yeah. Wow, so not a very active first half in the slightest so far. Um, maybe we want to change stuff up. I think maybe we could potentially go attacking. We're at home. Patrick Roberts, well held by Osman. It's, it is a very close game so far, but maybe we could go attacking. We are at home, and unfortunately, this is our strongest squad, but I think the team definitely needs to get into the rhythm. I mean, when we've got new players playing together, they have to learn how to play together, so... Maybe that could be the issue. We did have two shots on target. They've had two shots on target as well. Very close game. I'm expecting them to be close games as Pashas Ferreira have a strong squad. So let's start the second half here with intentions of, of hopefully winning this game. We're not going to go attacking yet, but I, I'm not against leaning towards going attacking if I feel like it's needed. Um, we haven't hit the ground running, that's safe to say. Luka Jovic here though. He's got men on. Ricardo Horta. There's an opportunity here on that right. <sighs> Ricardo Horta just kept running with it. There was so much room there on the right to play somebody in. That's not Ricardo Horta at the end of last season. Would have been a, would have done a good job there. Let's demand more from the players. I like the touches that Luka Jovic is getting on the ball though. But you want him in front of the goal. Um, but I think Roland will be good in that position. Febas, Ricardo Horta... 
Not even on target, but good play from Febas. Back and forth at the minute. A really lively start to the second half. Um, good block there, though. I want us to stay tight in defence again and not concede too much. They're going to play it to the wing here, obviously. Damian plays it in, and it's over. Damian's going to pick that up again. I am definitely contemplating attacking now. I don't feel like we're getting at them enough. We really should be putting them on the pressure, not the other way round. We're at home here. We've got to remember that. Um, a draw isn't the world's worst result. Like I say, they're a tough opposi opposition, but I would prefer... I'd prefer a win here, especially if we could nick a win. I'm going to go corner here. We don't like corners in this YouTube series. They've not been kind to us, but Santos heads it away. That's a little bit better. Ricardo Hort now will find Tammy Abraham, and he does have a rushing forward. Luka Jovic, I believe that is, but Tammy Abraham is tackled. That's frustrating, but we'll take the throw in here. Uh, no, we won't. It was kind of a similar feeling to how we played against them last time. So let's bring Roland on. But uh, let's bring him on as a complete forward attack. Um, and let's also bring on Linda. Daniil's not had a great time. I suppose this is his first game. But he's not had a great time there, has he? We're still attacking. So hopefully we can pull something out of this. Um, Febas here with the breakaway. Tammy Abraham. He's got a man forward. Linda. Keep the ball moving. Roland. Took way too long. Way too long there on the ball. Santos picks it up. This is a bit better. So since the subs, we look a bit livelier. Damian's going to head that straight to Ricardo. Horta. Horta. Doesn't play his man in. Maybe some individual team instructions we could do with now. Because I think there's just a few, a few mistakes from some of the players. I mean, this was never going to be easy. So it was always going to be quite a tough game because they're a very good squad. I knew that the opening game against these, especially when we hadn't picked up any form, we hit the ground running. But uh, De Silva there finds Novius. Back to De Silva. That's not a bad ball in for Tammy Abraham, who gets his first goal of the season and gives us the lead. So we're instantly going to go at teams, team instructions, drop that back down to higher, and we'll probably go positive again. Um, but that's more like it. That's what we want. De Silva there, though. Beautiful cross. Tammy gets his head on it. I mean, the keeper's made a an absolute mess of it, but that's fine. Ex Braga player doing as a doing as a service there. Do you know what? We'll stay attacking. Linda picks the ball up. We're on top of him here. There's no point cooling down. Tammy oh, just can't find Pedro. That's frustrating. They're going to have some. Yeah, I knew if Cardoso missed that, they've got some room here. Roberts. Oh, that's frustrating. Two quick fire goals. Maybe a mistake leaving it still on attack, but it was really it was the poor pass from Tammy. Uh, Cardoso not picking up Roberts correctly, and uh, I think Osman should have done better really in that position. Let's go to tactics. We've got one more change, and the change will be um, hmm, what will the change be? I think we'll bring Mauoski on. For Novius, swap them around, and he's going to go Mazala. So we are going for this now. We definitely don't want to give the game up. Febas picks the ball up there. Don't lose the ball. We've got a bit of space now. Linda. Hart is over. Oh, he finds Tammy. <sighs> he found Tammy so well there, but Tammy didn't find the back of the net. Oh, free kick for them. This could go either way right now. It's a very, very close game, this is. This could go either way. Tammy Abraham there, though, should have put that in the back of the net. That's frustrating. Fabas gets the free kick. That's absolutely fine. So late added time. Is there late drama here for Braga? And we can pick up a win. Linda, Fabas. God, that's an awful touch. But De Silva will pick that up. He's not got many people to play that to. Marowski finds De Silva again. Plays that over to Scow. What can Scow do here? Come on, Scout. Decent ball in. Oh, this is bad. They're going to break away now. This is one of my biggest issues, and we had it last year, where we'd lose the ball there, but well trekked back from De Silva. That wouldn't have happened last season. Roland picks the ball up. He's been very quiet. Roland. Oh, wow, that was beautiful. Oh, if he'd have just found the ball in there, that would have been a great debut for him, getting the assist for the winning goal. He did his man there well. I, You know, it's a fair result. 
very, very close game, fair result. You know, Pasha's Ferreira are a very difficult side to play against. We can kind of uh, we can kind of accept that. But Cardoso's the man that everybody wants, and maybe his head's been turned because he had a poor performance today. His mistake led to them getting the goal. And apart from that mistake, we was pretty much squeaky clean. We played very well. Um, but it was an even game. Unlucky. I tell the team that they were unlucky, but I'm definitely going to go and scold uh, Cardoso's mistake. Because that could have been a win. We could have nicked it there late on. Daniel didn't have a great start to his career. But again, he's very new to the squad, the system. I think once he's settled in, he'll be okay. I think that's a big factor in FM. Right, guys. So let's look at the results in the opening games. Boa Vista lost. They did sack Bielsa, which I was quite surprised. But Gumaris do have a very good squad. Oh, wow. Kevin Holland for Sporting. What's he look like these days? 30 years of age. He's a very good player, isn't he? I think he's going to do some damage in this league. On a free as well. Sporting have, uh, have made a great move there. Belenense back in the league, getting a win. Porto won as well. Uh, Benfica won 5-1. Won. Wow, they were playing a very poor side, though. So, I mean... I think considering the team we were playing against, it's not a bad result. Unfortunately, the mistake from Cardoso is 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 huge in terms of um, in terms of maybe the end of the season. But a draw isn't too bad. Tammy Abraham picking up a goal. I think we looked a little bit sloppy. I'm hoping that we drill that out as we get a few more games in. But let's hope for a much better start to this season. I will bring you in the next episode. Obviously, the Europa League draw will have been done, so we'll know who we're playing against. I could be inclined to bring you Sporting, but maybe not. Maybe Port on a Men say or the first Europa League game. I think potentially would make more sense. I mean, there's some big games, but we, we've done so many live comms against the big teams. I think maybe the first Europa League group game would be good, depending who we're playing against, of course. But I don't think that's a bad result today. I think we've done okay business. I think we're going to be okay. I think this season's going to be a good season. Let's try and get top three, and then everybody can be happy again. I need to hope that one of the top four, uh, that one of the top three teams at the minute though has a little bit of a poorer season. I really need to hope for that. I think it may be Porto, uh, but anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.